Hey guys, welcome to Off Street Comics Off Topic, where your host Kirby Kidd and Black Superman, also known as David Clark and Walter Bryant. And today we're talking about a lot of stuff. One, we're back from WonderCon. Yeah. Yeah, WonderCon was awesome. It was awesome. Uh, we're talking about Arrow. Well, Arrow was awesome. It was awesome. The X Men controversies. That's not awesome. <laughs> no, not at all. Actually, uh, Naruto. The spoilers. Uh, should we just tell them the topic? Yeah. Kakashi Thing. lost his eye. Yeah, yeah, and also, or rather, it was taken from him. Rudely, really, very rude. Yeah, it was just kind of ripped out of his face. Yeah, he's like, no, no, you don't. Know I like how surgery is so easy in Naruto. They just pull the eye out and just pop it in there, and it just works. It didn't used to be though. It used to be like so they had to have a surgical ninja and yeah. cut it out, and they were like, okay, you know, use your chakra to make this. Yeah, no, no, right. you just stick it in. It works. Um, we saw the son of Batman last week at uh, WonderCon. Yeah, there's an addendum to that. But yeah, it was good. Yeah, and then uh, we're gonna talk to you about some other upcoming events that we have. Cause Monday, I mean not Monday, May, is a very busy month for us. You have no idea. It's crazy. Oh, yeah, and also um, what's not on the agenda, but we should talk about it anyway. A couple of things that happened uh, that have happened with the Superman versus Batman movie. Oh yeah, it's not on the agenda. So you know that's uh He doesn't like Superman, that's, but it's really no, important. No, I don't want things not on my agenda. We had time to talk about this. Don't mess and with you, the S. And you, you, I mean, you could have mentioned that in the agenda, agenda meeting. We could have added that, but the agenda meeting was a, it was no. exactly three seconds after no. this thing this, started. This, this is why we can't get nowhere as a people. That's my line. No, you don't steal I, my, line. my line. I steal your stuff. No. See, you just admitted <laughs> it right now. You thought, anyways, this is off topic. <laughs> um, all right. First of all, WonderCon. Um, WonderCon was last weekend, which was Easter weekend, and uh, the first two days were well. The first day was awful. It really was. I mean, man, we stood around. Yeah. People were walking by and just saying hello. And we were like... like we got passed up by a guy from Jerry Bruckheimer Studio. And I'm like, fine, we didn't want you anyway. And he showed up in the first five minutes. Yeah, right? Like, was, we, were, like, we were in small press. We weren't in our, our alley. We got We were bumped up. Um, so Friday was terrible. Saturday, really nothing happened. But on the third day, like Jesus, we rose. Lots of people came by. Um, lots of people walked away with our merchandise, you know, because we gave it to them or sold it to yeah. them, not because they told, stole it. And, um, so, and kids and, and kids and adults were coming up to us who've heard about our comics or already had previous chapters, which was freaking cool. Okay, I'm going to tell this story because if he tells it, it sounds like bragging, but if I tell it, then you know just how awesome it really was. And then there was this little kid who came by our table uh -huh. and he walks up. And he sees the Heroes Arrest thing up on, up on the table. And he goes, Mom, I already have no issue one. Can I get issue two? Brag, 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 brag. Now, <laughs> now since he wrote, uh, since he created and wrote Heroes Arrest, again, it doesn't sound like bragging if I say it for him. So it, amazing. It was, a, it was, a, it was amazing. And like, we, you should have just seen, like, if you could have seen his face light up at that moment, it was like, mm, Like, there was hope in the world. <laughs> And then, uh, actually, uh, another uh, father and his son brought, they bought all three issues of Heroes Are Us. And um, they've actually sending us updates as they're reading it. And like, he, sent us, he sent us a picture of, of his son holding Heroes Are Us 2. He's like, he loves it. I'm like, oh my God, people like what I wrote. This is amazing, because usually I thought it would never happen like this. <laughs> <laughs> um, the project did really well again. Um, Heretic sold out. So uh, if you want a copy of Heretic, sorry. Yeah, you're going to have to wait until we uh, get a new artist or get our old artist back from whatever it is she happens to be doing. And also find the file for Heretic. I'm not saying one of us lost it. I mean, only one of us had it. That wasn't me. But it's it's somewhere. <laughs> I guarantee it. Walter, I, I can't find the file. <laughs> That's okay. Cause, uh, <laughs> everything about the Heretic's right here. Right here. Yeah, no, no, but like the 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 the, the drawy part, the drawy part. That's bad. Like the comic pages that I spent like two months putting together. That's bad. <laughs> yeah. But uh, so that happened. Uh, we saw Son of Batman. Well, I saw two thirds of it, the beginning and the end. Um, Son of Batman was awesome. Yeah, we had go out and buy it. There, there was uh some hissy fits and meltdowns that I had to handle via text in the middle, which apparently was the greatest part of the movie. I could tell from all the the applause and the laughter and the fun and the happiness and the sunshine that was going on uh, that I was not a part of. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, it was still it was still a good movie, and um, I, I I just I 
the one gripe I have about DC Comics movies, uh, the animated movies, is that they don't always get who I perceive as Batman and or Superman. Like, I don't care the other voices, but there are I, I have there are two voices that I have in mind when I hear Batman, Superman talk in animated things, and they're in most of them. Mm-hmm. But every now and then you get that one, and that's why I, like I, I go into the movie thinking, I'm thinking like, okay, who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? And he goes, I am Batman. You're like, oh, yeah. You want to hear Kevin Conroy? Who's that? The, 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 the guy from the TV show. Oh, okay, yeah. The animated series. Yeah. That voice. Yeah, that yeah. voice. And whoever does Superman's voice, usually. Yeah, so it's Tim, Tim something or other. Yeah, whoever that is, that's who you should get. Like, they're alive. Use them. At WonderCon, we were supposed to have a visit from the director of X-Men. What happened to that? Yeah, uh, apparently... Um, He's been touching little boys, or at least uh, he's been alleged to have Which done so. all that needs to happen before you lose your career. Yeah, it really is. And it's terrible, because even if he didn't do it, for at least 15 years, his career is over. Yeah. It's like, I mean, it just is. It's or, he can go to France right now, and they don't they don't care. Oh, they care. They just won't send you back here, because they they hate us. Like, they don't expedite. They're just like, they're like, what, what do you, they're, they're, I said expedite, extradite. Because they, they, they have that other guy, with, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, what? Yeah, what is that dude's name? The guy, Whoopi Goldberg, defended. Yeah. The, the other guy touched a little, uh, but he little, touched little, little girls, girls though. Yeah. But it, 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 it's still the same thing. Yeah. Uh, you're touching underage children. You know, it's, uh, yeah. it's nasty. It's so, anyway, Brian Singer has pulled himself back from pretty much anything X-Men right now because, you know, they still want the movie to do well. And, Fox right now seems to be betting a lot on, on they got a lot riding on this X-Men movie doing well because they're talking about doing um, spinoffs from it they're going to do another Wolverine movie um, possibly a Mystique movie they're thinking about possibly doing a, I think a Magneto movie just Magneto by himself which, which so Brian Sanger won't be on he won't be on any of that you know why he's been X'd out that was a bad joke. That was hilarious. That was a terrible we joke. We all enjoyed that joke. That was a terrible we joke. We all enjoyed that. You you're should awesome edit that out. But you're I'm actually going to edit that into the beginning. Uh, the first thing they see. In uh, Naruto this week, Kakashi lost his eye. Um, I think it's... Oh, oh Madara took it, just so you know. Because he's like, I need another eye because these two kids who shouldn't have these powers are somehow beating me. But uh, They were kicking the crap out of him. They actually. were. But so was Guy, though. Guy was doing what both of them are doing right now. Yeah, but the thing is, the difference is that, like, no, there's no difference. No, no. Guy yeah, was Guy was doing what him. both of these people are doing right now. <laughs> um, but uh, I think that uh, Kakashi's going to be better off without the Sharingan. gun. Because remember how it's always constantly draining his chakra? Like, that's why he's he's not a powerhouse, because he's he's got to take care of the Sharingan all the time. Because um, remember, he was a Jonin at six. Mm. So if he had never got the Sharingan, he probably would be, he probably would have been. Uh, the fifth Okage. Maybe. Um, well, so, he almost was anyway. Well, no, he, he was almost a sixth. He was but, almost a fifth. No, he wasn't. He was. They, he, they offered it to him and he said, no. No, no. The fifth, the fifth they, they, they're they like, it's too bad Jiraiya's dead. Oh, no, no, that's, that's for the sixth. No, they're like, no, we uh, we want Jiraiya for the, for, for, the, for the fifth because he's a student of, uh, of the third. And then Jiraiya's like, I don't want to do it, so just let's just give it to Nade. Because that would be a good idea, right? Yeah, she's she's been a great Hokage. She let a dude walk into her face in her village and say, "BRB, blowing up your village," <laughs> and she sat there and let. Anyway, that's a whole other video. But um, so basically, like he, I think he's gonna be a lot better because now he isn't anything constantly draining, uh, draining him or making him go blind. Yeah, but there's that whole gaping hole in the side of his face thing that's gonna yeah, suck. He's he's, he's, he's he's fine. No, no, that kind of sucks. No, no, he, he he's he's been on a battlefield with no, with one eye before. Yeah, and it sucked. And he was twelve. He's and, a man now, and he need, and he needed a medical ninja to put the other eye in. Yeah, he's fine. He's he's he's, he's, he's hardcore. And I'm, I'm sure Sakura will survive the attack Madara is doing on her right now to go back and heal. <laughs> she no, die. she'll probably get a hole put in her chest, and then Naruto well, will no, save she's her. She's got that uh, uh Byakugo thing on her on her thing. She can't die in battle now. Like he have to like super kill her. Like a lot, but he but he's got the power to do it though. Yeah, but I don't think he has the time. Yeah, because well, Naruto ain't gonna allow that. No, Sasuke would. <laughs> He'd be like, <laughs> "That's funny." <laughs> and then Naruto would bring her back to life, and she'll go follow Sasuke. Yeah. Oh yeah, her. Naruto has that life bringing power. I don't, I don't know if we talked about that yet. He he stopped guy from dying from the eight gates. 
Yeah, he really did. Like, like guy, the last of his soul was beginning to flicker out, and Naruto was like, no. He's like, no, I touch you. No, you're good. And then and then Madara was like, wait, wait, wait what? What? He's supposed to be... Why, why is he still sitting there? So could Naruto just have restored Guy and then let Guy keep using eight gates and then this would all be over right now? No. Because I think um, at some point Madara actually did say that the only reason why Guy was doing all this was because he kind of took him like lightly. No, he acknowledged him as the strongest uh, hand-to-hand combat user ever. Said this is a, yeah, no, he a said better that. fight than the first. He and, said and, and, he also, and, and, and he also thought to himself, not out loud, he said one more hit and I'm done. Yeah. But then after all that was over it and Guy was laying there dying, he was like, well, that was amusing. I, I underestimated No, he's you. just super arrogant. <laughs> he he had one arm and one leg at that moment. He's like, oh, I underestimated you. I'm really good. Dude, like, Dude no, you have half a body right now. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> you have half a body. And one dude almost punched it off. He That's punched really, off. Yeah, him. Really he punched true. off, or he kicked off half your body. Do you understand how embarrassing that is for you? And you know, Naruto actually um, pretty much had done the same thing without with with like a tenth of the power he's got right now. Oh well, well, well he kicked that orb back with his bare foot. And Sasuke, I, I I hate that Sasuke's got any upgrades, but it's we, just we knew eye. he was gonna get the Renangon. That was just gonna. That's it's just the natural progression for the Sharingan. So well, yeah, well, you knew he was gonna he was gonna get it if for no other reason than because the Sage of the Six Path basically said, yeah, you know. But like, the Sage has been watching Sasuke. You really want to trust an unstable guy with that much power? His eyes have destroyed his brain. His uh, brain don't work good. Apparently, <laughs> apparently the village trusts him. No. Hey, I'm just gonna walk up and say I'm a good guy now, and you know what? You're gonna accept that. Well, he's more powerful than, like, 99% of them, so you kind of need him right now. Fair enough. I, I, or, or, hey, I'm sure Kimo can do something right now. Gatsuga? Oh, okay, I'm dead. All right, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> and so, like, because all the other rookies were hyped up as, like, they were so hyped up when they first came out. Remember when, uh, like, back in part one? Uh-huh. They're like, oh, my God, they're all powerful. And then, like, real power happened. <laughs> it, uh, it just, but, um, so, yeah, that happens. Uh, Naruto has new form. He's basically like super chakra awesome mode and Sasuke's super eye mode. They're basically both halves of what Madara is. Yeah, and he's got like, but but you know, I I really like Naruto's like uh, new outfit. Yeah, actually. with the double it's sword, like black and, and the. And apparently, I think he has. I think he's doing flying thunder god. Yeah, it looks that way. Cause he, cause Madara's like that wasn't movement. What was that? And he was all like, yeah, teleport. So he just he just mastered it. A new jutsu just. Just oh, he, he's that's doing, how you know it's it's almost over. Yeah, he's doing rising guns with, uh, with lava style, lava style. You know, just and, the, and that sand style thing he did at the end. It's like wait, but you didn't, you don't know how to use those elements or incorporate them into Ross and Shuriken. Remember how hard it was to incorporate an element he had just learned into Ross and Shuriken. Remember how hard it was for him to do Ross and Shuriken. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like <laughs> like he had to have clothes. Now he's just standing there going, oh, hey, look, check it out. It's spinning. Well, I mean, let's throw, let's well, throw some I mean, lava. I mean, that's, that's to be fair, though. I remember they, they said the reason why he had a hard time controlling Chakra was because the demon was always getting in the way. But, like, even with it being that hard, he was still really good at it. It had a lot of practice doing hard stuff. Which mm-hmm. means, I think, because now, since the demons all love him, there's nothing getting in the way. But he still has all that practice of doing it super hard, which means now he should be able to do it super easy. Which I understand, but he'll do Ross and Shuriken with one finger, which he's done before. That makes sense. I even understand you doing futon Ross and Shuriken with one finger. Here's my problem though. I don't understand you doing lava style because that is that, that, that is making fire style and earth style and then combining them on the same level as a, as a KK Genkai, a blood, bloodline technique. The only one we've ever seen do that besides the demon is the Mizukage because she was born with it. So how is Naruto just like, oh yeah, I totally comprehend how to do this thing that only people who have certain blood can do. I can just, let me just do it. Just, just pop it out. Bam done the demons all told him they're like look no here's how, here's how you do this Wait, because because he, he, he said he said he said son give me some chakra he's like cool and that was the end of the conversation he's like he's got voices in style. his head a lot actually he's crazy <laughs> um but so yeah I'm, i don't really i mean i like the new russian jerkins um i'm kind of sad that that's all he still has i mean it's, it's, a, it's a really good one trick though if you had to be a one trick pony that be the one trick to have, and, and the flying thunder guard though, which I, I don't. So I don't uh, understand. Fly, you, flying thunder guard with a, with with a with a lava style wrestling shirt again should um you know pretty much game end over. this. Yeah. All right, son of Batman, son of Batman was cool for what I saw of it. 
Okay, quick rundown. Um, Rachel Gould died. That's not gonna happen. It, it didn't make no sense. Yeah. That was stupid. Rachel Gould died because um, Deathstroke killed him, and we'll, we'll get to that, the, some more about that later. Um, and then so Talia says, "You know what? I'm gonna take you to your father." Shows up to Batman and says, "You have a son." And Batman, who knows everything, was surprised for about a second. And then she, then he goes, "Okay." Yeah, he, he was surprised because as a man, you don't want to ever hear that ever. Yeah, and then he's like, "Okay." And then she goes, and he's going to stay with you. And he's like, I'm Batman. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I love how she's like, you know, that, I, I, you, you know, like, you remember that night, right? He's like, yeah, you drugged me and I did what you wanted me to do. And she's like, it was an all bad, wasn't it? He's like, yeah, you're right. It was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, for, for, like, you saw, you saw the man part of Batman. He's like, yeah, yeah, you pretty high. Yeah, that, that was, that was, that was pretty good. Yeah, that was, that was, that was good. He's thing. like, you want another kid? <laughs> but, uh, and then he just, you know. Takes his little psychopathic son. Yeah, Damien is Damien is not playing. No, he at is, all. He is a murderer. He has killed before, and Ames do it many more times. But he's not stupid. Batman stood before him and said, "You will do as I say it." And he goes, "Okay." He's, he's Batman. Yeah, like yeah, no, uh, yeah, no. That's cool. I mean, he kicked the crap out of Nightwing. Yeah. Like Nightwing, Nightwing, like they got into the fight, and Nightwing had was all cut up. But he did get the best, the best of him because he had Damien tied up and like hanging from, hanging Which from a tree. I, I guess you know all those years of running with Batman, you learned that for a while. I mean, yeah, a bit, you know. Um, I'm kind of surprised Batman didn't do more fighting. Like the final fight was between Damien and Destro. It really should have been Batman and Destro. It should have been, but because no was father Damien's, is gonna let that happen. Damien's an assassin. I mean, like, like. That's literally cute. an assassin. That's cute. His father is the Batman. Yeah. And to prove that point, mm-hmm. Talia comes back to get her son. The woman who was raised in as, an, as an assassin by the undead father. And she says, I'm taking my son. And Batman says, no. Robin stays with Batman. And she said, you right. Yeah. And that was the end that of the conversation. That was in the conversation. Her and her ninjas left. <laughs> <laughs> So, so yeah, it was it was a pretty good movie. Um, the animation was good. Like we said earlier, the voice is, the voice was awful. Yeah, the, the, there there is a Batman voice, and you have to just you have to get him. You just have to. Yeah, the the aside from the voice though, it was a really good movie. Um, oh, Destro's voice, I don't like it either. I don't like anybody's voice who's not the guy from the from the Inj- TV show. I like Injustice, uh, Destro. Well, yeah, but that's the uh, an older guy's voice though. Mm-hmm. That that works that works for that. But like. Having having started watching Arrow, mm-hmm. and that's that that voice is Deathstroke's voice for me now. Wow, oh, okay. You know that that guy. By that, the way, real quick, speaking about Slade, um, if you watch Teen Titans Go this week, there's a dream sequence, and the entire whatever for Robin, his entire dream sequence was done in original Teen Titans uh, animation. Really? So for about five minutes, we had the real Teen Titans back. Of course, four of it was wasted because Robin was making out with Starfire, which I guess you know, you never got to do that in the show, right? No, they they had that one movie, that uh, Teen Titans in mm-hmm. Tokyo or something right. like that, and at the very end of that movie, mm-hmm. they kissed for the first time. Yeah, no, he made out with her for a solid five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly, it was his dream, but yeah, it was it was a solid five. But like, it was back to original. It was like updated HD version of the original Teen Titans. That's cool. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I was like, okay, cool. Now just see what you're doing right here. Just keep doing that. Just like don't end the dream sequence. <laughs> it, it'll never happen. It might. They, they like no. They I, like the stupidity. I wonder if maybe they're like testing the grounds for the old school animation back. No, no, don't, 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 don't kill my dream. No, they're, they're not. That would that would be smart. Mm. And as we have as we have learned, DC who, whoever does the animation department for TV isn't smart. They're not. I, I remember San Diego Comic Con, the, the, the year they announced Teen Titans Go. They had the guy who was in charge of doing the original Teen Titans cartoon that everyone loved. Mm. And they asked him, Aren't you excited about the new direction it's going in? And he was like, Yeah. And then, like, the, the, the guy who was in charge of, I guess, Teen Titans Go was like, He's been practicing saying that all day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of him. Because <laughs> no one liked it. And everyone kept, and everyone, like, like all right, so it's time to ask the new guy, the, the creator of Teen Titans Go, some questions. And everyone walked up. So this is for the guy who did the original Teen Titans. <laughs> like, like, everyone just really hated it. Like, just like, no one wants to acknowledge it. They're like, no. 
No, sir. And it's a terrible show. It's I'm, 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 I'm it's wondering stupid. though if they're just gonna play this for a few years and then when the when the fans of this get older, then move them right into real Teen Titans. No. Walter, don't kill my dreams. No, stop killing them. Look, look. Here's what they, here's what they've done. They've put the real Teen Titans on Boomerang. Yeah, but I want additional episodes. No, it's never gonna happen. It's not happening. They put the real Teen Titans on Boomerang. Mm-hmm. You're gonna have to accept that. Nope. Young Justice will be on Boomerang pretty soon. Nope, not, no, it's coming and, back. It's and coming back. we'll we'll have to accept that. And so is Thundercats. It's coming back. Dude, okay, look. The least you could have done was given us an arc where where they, they got a final battle with Mumra and won. And Lionel got the other hot Thundercat chick because... Do I not betray him? Yeah, because, you know, Tiger, she betray- Tiger and... I never got the other Thundercats to be like, Oh, we feel abandoned. What was he going to do? First of all... He was a kid? Let's all remember real quick, before the invasion... Just remember this, remember this for a second. You all hated him and thought he was a failure. And so now that your lives are on the line, all of a sudden now you want Mr. Failure to come and save you. Remember that... Five minutes before the explosion started going off, you're like, oh, we hate Lionel. He sucks. <laughs> oh, God, Lionel, please say. No. No. Be a slave for 10 years. I'll come back later. <laughs> Remember that? It's true. No, no, they, they all hate him. They all hate him. They all wanted, they all wanted Tigra to be the, the, to be the Lord of the mm-hmm. Thundercats. The sword chose him. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Sword chose him. Chitara. Um, your boyfriend tried to kill his brother in... in, in over the, the sword. Over the sword. Yeah. And then... The moment he comes back and you and you learn this, you start making out with him because he gives you a flower. So basically, what you're saying is if you stalk a girl long enough <laughs> and give her a flower, she will eventually pick you over someone who, who she should pick. No, no, no. You also have to be a big enough jerk. Right. Look, because you can you don't get to be uh, you don't get to be a bigger jerk than oh I'm going to try to kill my brother over something that belongs to him. Is his mm-hmm. like like he didn't ask for it? He yeah. didn't steal it from you. The sword chose him, right? I mean, and it has nothing to do with not having enough confidence because Lionel has a lot of confidence. Because mm-hmm. like, if he wants to do something, it's getting done. He's like, we should let this guy go. Like like we're running the yeah. meeting, like let, let him go. He's like they're like no, that's stupid. He's like yeah, well that's that's cool, but um, we're letting him go. And <laughs> you know? The only reason why they're still alive. Mm-hmm. That one guy betrayed his entire race. And let the Thundercats go. And, and they're like, he's like, see guys, I'm just saying, had we listened to you, <laughs> we'd be dead. But, uh... Not that this was anything near our agenda. No, we just decided to talk about Thundercats. Which was a great show, Warner Brothers. Please, look, guys, seriously. Look, we're, we started out joking about this, but we're not joking anymore. Mar- DC and Marvel, like, y- you don't know how to make things that are good outside of the one thing you're good at. DC, you're good at animated movies. Marvel, you're good at movies. Okay. But you're not good at everything else, literally. You're terrible at all the other things that are out there. Hire us. And all we'll be doing there, like, we'll stand behind your CEOs and be like, we should do this. And we go, no. Do it again. (laughs) (laughs) Like, we should take Young Justice off because it doesn't sell toys. Look. (laughs) Make better toys and leave the good show on TV. It's not. It's not hard. It's not. First of all, when you have a show called Earth's Mightiest Heroes, you don't take out the air to bring on whatever Avengers Assemble. That's stupid. That's dumb. It. The art's weird. I don't like it. <laughs> Ant Man, Wasp art there. It just. It. You, you have something. Like, if you have something that is not broke, you don't f- try and fix it. It's just. It, it was. Just, oh. But do you know why? Avengers Assemble came on because of the movie. No, why? Because of Ultimate Spider-Man. They wanted us. They wanted to Avengers fit. to fit. Oh with yeah, Ultimate I remember Spider-Man. that. Which is stupid because Ultimate Spider-Man sucks, and you should make it fit with the show that's already doing good. The show, which is based on the characters that made you two billion dollars in the movie. Okay, thirty-second rant. Ready, go. I took the time to watch Hulk and the Agents of Smash again Sunday. And the Hulk put on a tuxedo or something, a suit or something. Was his, Joe it, fix it? Huh? Was he Joe fix it? No. Mm-hmm. Anyway, his his cousin decided... Oh, but Deathlock, Deathlock was on there, though. Oh, okay. But his cousin decided that he should wear nicer clothes and maybe people would like him. The Hulk puts on these clothes that are too small for him and he says, How am I supposed to move in this? 
He does. He actually says, how am I supposed to move They're this? the mall, right? Yeah. I've seen that episode. He's the freaking Hulk. You just move. You just move. The Hulk is not restrained by two pounds of clothes. I could have ripped that jacket. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's everything we were going to talk about and then, like, four other additional things. No, um, hmm? is it? No, 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 like, on the agenda to, oh. to this point. We have one more thing to talk to you about. Um, we have a few events coming up next Saturday, May 3rd, which is Free Comic Book Day. We will be at an event at the uh, Tustin Library. Uh, we're going to be debuting our Heroes R Us Adventure Board Game of Awesomeness, which may actually be the final title. This is a test. Actually, we're going to be seeing if kid, how kids like it and, you know, see what you know, works and what doesn't work. Um, also, if you come to our booth, we're going to be giving away a free 20% off discount code for our partner store, Enjoy Games and Comics. So you can, you know, buy games and comics. Yeah, and, like, our, our friend Brainy has some of the most amazing stuff you're ever going to see. Because he's, he's such a nerd that he buys things that, well, only nerds really want. He has lanterns. Actual like lantern, like big lan like if you had a ring and you knew the oath and you were chosen, you'd be a green lantern. I'm just saying. Yeah, but he doesn't have the red lantern. But he can get it. I know. I've been asking for the red lantern for a while. I think he doesn't get it just despite me. <laughs> <laughs> um, we also have uh, Long Beach Comic Con, um, May thirty first to June first. Uh, we've been invited to run the kids area. Uh, so if you want to come by, play the game, get drawn to the comic book, make a character, get some free candy. Also, discount code. Uh, stop by Long Beach Comic Con. Uh, we'll be somewhere in the uh, exhibitors hall, wherever the kids area is. Uh, we have another event on the 16th, but that's a private event. You were not invited. <laughs> <laughs> but we were. High five. We were invited. Private yep, event. Yep. Uh, and also, June 7th uh, in LA, there's a Ninja Con. Uh, we were invited to hold a panel there on how to get into comics. Uh, it's going to be a really fun panel. We're going to tell you uh, all things you should do and then all the million things you should not do that we did. Every one of them. Yeah. <laughs> one, of, one of them happened to stop him from seeing, seeing all of Batman. Batman. Um, so, not that I'm mad or anything. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, we've, we've got a really uh, a lot of cool things that are happening to us right now and happening for us right now. We're, we're, um, we're beginning to blow up. We're enjoying this. It's, yes. This is a good time to be us. And you and you being our subscribers right now means you are our best subscribers. And then when, when we're cool, you are now cooler than everyone else who likes us. That is correct. You are the in crowd. We 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 are indie right now. Mm -hmm. Like when we become mainstream, well, some of you are gonna hate us because that's what happens. Like people go, yeah, they're not as cool as they used to be. They sold out. But, but you know what? I got a billion dollars. Right. But even even when we're mainstream, we're still gonna be the same people. Still doing the same thing. We'll just be on TV. <laughs> <laughs> so, but um, that's it for now. Uh, until no, it's next not. Time. What else is what else? What else could there possibly be? Well, there's two other things actually. Okay, name both of those things right now. Okay, we haven't talked about Arrow, and that was on your agenda. I didn't really want to talk about Arrow. Mora died. I didn't like her. I loved her. Oh, is this a, dis a disagreement now? Because I didn't like her. I really didn't. She was she was a horrible mother. She was she, terrible. She annoys me. Black Canary's annoying me right now. And Speedy's annoying me. Roy, I'm so tired of. But, to be fair, I knew she was going to die. As soon as she said, I know, I was like, yo nime is come. <laughs> nobody, no, nobody and, uh, in your family learns your secret and, and lives. lives. All right, all right. Ever. Ever. So, as soon as Speedy finds out, she either has to become Red Arrow or she dies. And one thing I don't get, though, is when she found out that Oliver knew that her dad was, uh, was, uh, uh Tommy's dad, mm -hmm. uh, Malcolm Merlin. Why is she upset with him? Yeah, because he learned it, like, a week earlier. And no one ever brought that up. <clears throat> like, it was presented to her like he had known for years. He didn't. He just learned it. Yeah, and she, and... And you would think that she would know that because for some reason a week ago his his relationship with your mom got strained. You think she would it, she would think. figure that out? And I love how she's like, "This is my club." First of all, it's for his little club. girl. That's his club that he gave to you out of his money. Actually, I don't even think he gave it to her. I think like he went away to the island and when he came back, she was running it. It's still his club. No, I think she took it. It's still his club. His name is on the deed. It don't matter what she did. <laughs> It's his club. And then, like, 
you know, and then her mom was like, uh, so we're, we're still holding the event there. We can't change it now. She's like, no, I don't drink my club, mom. She's like, well, you signed the contract. Wow, you're going to go there? Yeah, I'm going to make you honor your agreement. I'm going to make you a good person. Yeah, that's what parents do. They make you into good people. You sign a contract. Even when they're terrible. The contra- even when they're terrible. But she was right. You sign a contract. Mm-hmm. You honor that contract. Just because you're no longer happy with me doesn't mean, you know, you get to just not honor the contract. Somebody out there knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, a, a couple of somebody yeah, actually you know what we're talking to you it's not even about Arrow I'm talking to you three or four people out there you are the contract just because all of a sudden now your opinions have changed about people it doesn't mean you get to just change the con- no anyway that's a that's a whole other conversation not that we're upset that it cost me missing the middle of Son of Batman we're not we're come happy. to NinjaCon we'll explain yeah there'll be no names there'll be like five names we gonna say the names, that picture, where they live, address, you know, all that stuff. But oh, no. and then last thing, just change Superman versus Batman into Justice League already. Um, they've already hi- they 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 in the past week hired Cyborg, and um, Jason Momoa has been contracted to play. It looks like Aquaman. Mm. So they really uh, let's not go Aquaman though. He's not a good character. Dude He's looks scary. like Lobo. They make him be Lobo. Make that be the villain. Lobo versus the League? Really? Yes. Dude, no. Yes, it'd be no, hilarious. No, no. <laughs> it'd be over. It'd be hilarious. Batman, well, you know how much Batman fun? would get really close you, to being you, Lobo. You know how fun the ride would be? Because, like, he'd be immortal. They're like, why aren't you dead? He's like, I don't know, Lobo. Be, 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 be. <laughs> what Lobo movie? Did you, did you, or, or just, or like, during a scene in the movie, like, when they're fighting, just have, like, Lobo, like, having tea with, like, somebody, just like, hey, hi, guys, can I join the League? Like, no, it's cool. I'm Lobo. I don't need to. <laughs> You know, but uh, I hate Aquaman. I hate Aquaman. Aquaman is awesome. He is a terrible character. He is an awesome character. By a pollution and sewage because he's like no, that's Captain Planet, who by the way is also getting his own movie. Live action. Yeah. Let me guess, Warner Brothers. Probably. But until next time, which may or may not be next week, because next week is Free Comic Book Day. We've been your host, Kirby Kid and Black Superman. See you later, guys. Hey guys, don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, and share our videos like crazy. That's right, because we love you, we want you to love us, and we want to keep making videos for you. And keep leaving us comments. We love comments. Yes, and we answer comments. Unlike some of the other guys, we'll get out there, we'll answer, and if you uh, have a great comment, we'll make a video about it. And if you have a not so great comment, we will try to address that issue. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, thanks. Till next time, we've been your host, Kirby Kid. And Black Superman. See you later, guys.